This is the best way to do KDP keyword research and this is the strategy that I'm going to be using in 2025. So this method is perfect for beginners or for self-publishers who know what they're doing in terms of keywords but they just want to see how someone else does it. I have got a spreadsheet that you can download for free off my Gumroad and it's called KDP Keyword Research 2025. Now you want to download that file and it is an Excel file but what you want to do is you want to transport that into Google Docs so that you can keep all the formatting when we're going through this example. Okay so this is the spreadsheet here KDP Keyword Research 2025 and I have put this into Google Docs okay and as you can see I have formatted each of these tabs at the bottom with some information. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off over here and we're going to work our way across and I'm going to show you the, the exact keyword strategy that I use for um, creating keywords for my books okay so we start off with the category selection so what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to um, publisher rocket and we are going to go to competition analyzer we'll click on that and we are going to type in here a keyword now what I would do here is just type in the general niche that you want to make a book in so for this example we can just do something like self-care okay so self-care self-care it's a fairly popular one make sure that we've got books selected and that we're also in the market that we want to sell these books so this I've got selected is the America so go get them rocket and these sorts of books, sort of self-love books, uh, gratitude journals, a year of self-care, those sorts of things, they are doing very well. I mean, look at this one. This one's getting $52,000 a month in sales. This one, $13,000 and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we are going to do kind of like a self-love um, gratitude journal um, sort of self care sort of thing so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the categories let's just look at the categories this one and as you can see we have got some different categories now what Publisher Rocket shows you is the categories that we have got on this particular competitor uh, the number of sales that it's going to take for uh, that particular book to be number one in that category the number of sales is going to take to be 10 uh, publisher um, in terms of who's a big publisher in that particular category and who's just an independent like myself or you um, and then the number that's in Kindle Unlimited obviously these are books so they're not Kindle Unlimited okay so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a few of these um, particular uh, categories now obviously what you want to do is you want to shop around and get the best categories that have got the lowest numbers here okay because the lowest numbers means that you could be higher up in the ranks but just for the sake of this particular um, demonstration we're going to select these three books here okay now what you'll notice as well is that these are selectable so you can select them on the KDP dashboard but these two here are actually duplicates of each other okay so you're actually getting into more categories by selecting one of them okay so let's just select uh, these three here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this like so I'm going to uh, copy I'm going to go over to our little template that we've got and I'm going to pop them in there okay now don't be too bothered if the formatting's a bit funny we can just get rid of that if we want to there we go okay so we can see here that we've got our three main categories now this is the main important thing that we need to do we need to make sure that we get keywords that are associated with these categories okay because if your keywords are not associated with these categories then Amazon might take you out of them because it thinks that your book doesn't belong there okay so Publish Rocket is great for this because what you can do is we can now, because we've selected these three particular um, categories, we can press on keywords, okay? So for this happiness category here, if I press keywords, it's going to give us all the different keywords that, that Amazon thinks is sort of associated with this happiness category. So what we do is we're going to get this, copy them all. This big one at the bottom, just ignore that. So copy those and we are going to put that into the second tab here. So we're going to put that in here. Now this was uh, happiness and it was paperback. Now if you were doing ebooks or hard covers and so on and so forth, you'll have to repeat this process for each for each presentation of your book okay so we're just doing a uh, paperback for now so this particular uh, happiness category they are the 
category keywords which are associated with it. Okay, so we've got two more to do. So let's do those. So go back over to Publisher Rocket. Let's just turn that one off. Now we need to go to the journal writing. So let's just go to keywords. Okay, and copy those. Very good. Back over to our um, spreadsheet. Copy those in there. And that was journal writing. Journal writing. And that was a paperback. Very good. Paperback. And the last one then, uh, self-esteem. So if we just press keywords again, that brings up some more words. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how we use these words in a second. So back on our t on our uh, spreadsheet, copy those words into there. And this one was self-esteem. And again, that is paperback. So now we've got our categories which we're going to assign to our book that we're going to make. And we've also got the keywords that are associated with those categories. Still with me? Okay. Next thing we need to do is actual specific keyword research. So if we go to this section here, and as you can see here, we've got the headings which we are going to see on uh, Publisher Rocket in just a second. Now, the keywords are obviously going to appear here. And then the average page of books that you would find in that keyword is going to be is going to be shown here. The number of competitors for that particular keyword will be here. Uh, the average price of the books selling in that keyword will be here. The average monthly earnings that this keyword is earning is also going to be there. The estimated amount of searches per month and the competition score. Now we're going to go into what all these mean in a second. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over back over to Publisher Rocket and I'm going to go over to this button here, which is the keyword search button. So we're going to go there. We're going to go to books. And the first thing we're going to type in is self-care. Okay, because that's the sort of book we want to think. Uh, yes, books and go and get them rocket. So that's going to just come up. It's going to take a few seconds for it to load up with the top keywords for this particular uh, sort of um, keyword that we are looking at. Okay, so let's just investigate each one of these all the way down. Okay, now the key thing to this method is getting as much data as possible. It's a data driven method. Okay, so and this is the reason one of the main reasons why Publisher Rocket is so powerful because of the amount of data that it's giving you. It's telling you what's working. Okay, so you can use that data and you can establish what's going to be the best keywords to use for your book so that you can be seen. So I've um, searched all of those particular um, keywords. I am then going to just uh, order those so that the top searches are at the top and the low searches are at the bottom. Then what I like to do is I like to copy just the ones until I start getting too many reds. So we can see there I've started to get reds. Now we don't want reds. So I've copied that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into our spreadsheet here, like so. And because we're on Google Docs, it keeps all the lovely formatting. Very good indeed. So we've, we've searched self-care. So let's just search another word. Let's do uh, self-love, self-love, I think we saw, didn't we? So we'll go and get them rocket. We'll let that work, and again, self-love. So what we need to do is search each one all the way down, all the way down until we have as much data as possible. Uh, the more data that we get, the better we are going to um, get our keywords, aren't we? Okay, so you can see how quick this is. I'm doing this in real time, I'm not editing this. This is this is kind of um, working in real time. So once all that's done, again, if we just order these, so all the top searches are at the top, and we just copy the ones that have got data. So let's just go, out, and we don't want the reds. So we stop when the reds start to appear. Let's just paste that in. Um, and let's just sort of say for good luck, shall we do another one? Now, in reality, you do lots of different keywords that you can think of around the type of book that you're going to make, okay? So another one we could do is we could maybe do uh, self-esteem. That was one that um, seemed to be self-esteem books. So let's just click on that, see what comes up here. And again, it's just popping up as quick as that. And we'll just go down and we will get all of that lovely juicy data we do like a tasty bit of data okay so let's just explore all of these 
Um, obviously this takes a, a, a few seconds, so I'm just filling in the time with random words. <laughs> like juicy data. Um, so let's just do this all the way to the end. Let's just for complete this, we're nearly done. All the way down. Now you can do as many of these as you like, but just for this demonstration, we're just going to do those. Let's bring it to the top, order it again, stay away from the red, all the way down until we're kind of there. Copy that, put it into our spreadsheet. Now, what do we have? We have got some nice category keywords which belong to our categories that we're going to select. Yes, very good. We have got some specific keyword research that we have um, done using Publisher Rocket. Now, what I like to do is I like to order these. And the way that I do that is just by selecting this, go to filter. And what we want to do is we want to filter this by competition score, right? Now, if I just go to this one quickly, there's a quick guide which I've created here, right? So this is the key to keywords. So if it's got green on searches per month and it's got green on competition score, then that's the best sort of keyword that you want to use, right? If it's got green for the amount of searches, but it's got yellow for competition score, well, that's generally good. If it's yellow for searches and it's got green for competitive score, that's okay to good depending on the numbers. Yellow and yellow is okay and any red is bad okay so keep that in mind as we go through so what we're looking for here is green green first so what i like to do is i like to kind of let's just um, highlight this so that's green green so we've highlighted those two these are all greens these are all greens right so let's just put that down to here that's yellows as well he's another set of greens which are fantastic right and then look we've got all these greens here as well down to there, I think it is. Very good. And then the rest are yellows. But what we can do is go down and have a look at any that have got large numbers. So look at this. This one here is getting 76,000 for this particular keyword, which is self-care box, which is quite general. But it's getting 7,000 searches. So that is potentially a good one. Okay. Uh, this one's getting 15,000, but the searches is quite low. So I'm not very happy with that one. So this one, self-love journal, that's another good one. Again, that's 11,000. What's this one? Self-care for women, 12,000 that's making. So that's another one that could be profitable to get into there. Okay. Uh, 10,000 self-love books for men, right? Okay. Very good. Um, and have we got any more where we're making some big cash what's this one self-care workbook for women right that's another good one there so we're getting some quite good data for this particular niche self-love books again um, let's just highlight that one as well and we're going to I'm going to show you how we kind of decide what which ones we are going to potentially be using here okay so as you can see there is quite a lot of good ones here self-esteem workbook for women that's another good one there and you know a lot of these keywords are making some decent decent money this one's making 34,000 self-love books for women okay so we've highlighted a, a number of those right now what we can do is let's just filter that by color sort it by color yellow so now we've got all the best keywords that we have found for this particular niche that we're doing um, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy those and we're going to put it into the last tab Okay, now this is obviously not big enough. So what we need to do is we need to uh, come off this, come onto here, and we're just going to insert some more, some more rows there. So now let's just select this again. Copy, and then we'll plonk that in there. Very good, right. Now, so as I said here, we've got green, 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 yellow are the ones that we've got. So we've got best and good keywords here and we haven't got any of these, which is good. So it means we're in a good sort of space. Okay. Now what we need to do, this is the way that I do it. So we need a title for our book, which needs to be the best keyword that you can find just by itself, completely not contaminated with anything else, right? Because the most power is associated to the title on Amazon. Okay. So this is one of the main things that people go wrong is they'll pick a random 
title for, let's just say, a self-care book. It'll be like, you are brilliant, or something like that, right, for a self-care book. But no one's typing into Amazon, you are brilliant to find a self-care book, other. So this is what I'm saying. So give yourself the, if you want to put something quirky in, put it in the subtitle. In your first your title needs to be the the kind of the uh, the best keyword that you've got. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for my uh, recommendation for 2025. Uh, subtitle. So this needs to be a great keyword. So like your title, but needs to be mixed in naturally with a what it is subtitle, right? So okay, it needs to sort of tell you in the subtitle what the book is. So we've got the 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 main keyword. Yeah, which probably tells you what the book is. Yeah, but then your second, your subtitle really needs to kind of solidify in people's mind that that is what this particular book is. Okay, so people can, when they're scrolling, they know that it's a particular book that they want, and then it's reaffirmed on the um, in the subtitle. Okay, but we're also sneaking another keyword in, which is really good. For your seven back end keyword slots, then what we need to do is we need to have the first three, which is a really great unchanged great keyword. Okay, so one of these bad boys that are really good but unchanged. We're not changing it. We're going to keep it clean. Okay, right. Uh, we might make one or two changes to it, which will um, which will explain when we go through words to avoid in a second. Okay, the next two spaces then are all about the keyword blend. So we've got up to 50 characters which we can use. Um, and traditionally that was called keyword stuffing. But those two particular spaces, we can add as many words as we can to try and spread out our potential things that we are showing up for when people are typing it into Amazon, okay? And then the last two uh, spaces are where we're going to stuff our category keywords to make sure that we stay in the categories that we are selecting. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to look for a title. So let's have a look at this. Now, we want to go to searches first. So obviously we've got some high searches here, haven't we? But then we've got this kind of like yellow. So that's kind of a good keyword, but we want a best keyword. So if we look at our best keywords here, we've got this one, which has got 1700 searches. This one's got 1500 searches. So this one is potentially a good one. So I'm changing colors all over the place here, but this is just to highlight what we're doing, right? So look at this. Straight away, self-esteem journal for women. Self-esteem journal women, right? So we can see here that this particular keyword's making 12,000, this is making 10,000. So either one of these you can potentially use. Now, what we'll do, just for the sake of it, we will use uh, this one. Why not? So the title is a nice, clean title. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that obviously we have got capitals. If you're going to be pasting this into KDP, just to make it easier later, I always like to just make sure that this is all capitals. Okay, right, so now those two are kind of used, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to put a subtitle in, but kind of create a what it is. So what we need to do is look for another great keyword, right? So this is this is a kid's book about self-esteem. Now, what we could probably do is put, like, this is vinyl stickers. See, so that's not even applicable. See, so we can delete that. So any of, any of that have snuck through that are not applicable, we can just delete them. Yeah, kid's book about self-esteem, or well, we're not doing a kid's book now because we've decided we're going to go with uh, self-esteem for women. So workbook is a good one, is a good work, self-esteem workbook. But we've used self-esteem in the title, so we don't want to repeat that, yeah? Self-care needs for women, right? Self-care, because that's a word that hasn't been used in the self-love books for women. So this is what I would do. I would potentially go self-care needs for women. So let's just have that in our subtitle. So self-care needs, self-care needs for women. Self-care needs for women. Okay, now I've just been going on about having capitals and then didn't put capitals in there. So that's the keyword that we want to keep. Now we can rearrange that if we like. So, you know, we can have self-care at the back or for women at the front or whatever. 
um, it doesn't particularly matter because it does change around, Amazon will change it around for you. But let's kind of, so self-esteem journal for women, self-care needs for women. Okay, so we need to keep all that in. So let's just put, um, the perfect self-care, self-care, self-care workbook. Workbook for the needs of every woman. There we go. So we have the keyword in that we want, but can you see now that looks a little bit more natural, doesn't it? So, what have we got? Self esteem journal for women, the perfect self care workbook for the needs of every woman. And just to be, let's just make sure that that's capitalized, right? Very good. So there is our title and our subtitle, and we've used that particular keyword there. So now what we need to do is we need to pick three great keywords and make sure that they're unchanged for our back end keyword slots. So I just want to show you a, a particular um, example here. So if I go here, self-esteem workbook, so that's 7,800 uh, per month, and it's got 846, and it's got green, green. So that's a particular good one, right? So we can use that one, but there's one thing that we need to look at. If we have a look at this particular keyword, we need to have a, keep in our mind the KDP guidelines, right? So self-esteem workbook, right? Now look, words already mentioned in your book categories, and look at this, there's things like this, information common to most items in the category. So book, book, yeah? So what we need to do is you need to remove that word. So you'll still get the benefit of the, uh, the keyword, uh, but we've removed the common um, um, item which is to that particular category okay so for example self-love books for women would become self-love for women okay so let's just um, have a look here so we've used that one so let's just mark that off as being used okay let's go and have a look at uh, another one potentially so these are quite kind of low cash what's this one self-esteem workbook adults See, so workbook I think is fine. Yeah, book obviously isn't, but I think workbook is fine. Now we've already used workbook in the subtitle, but that doesn't matter because it, this is different. So let's just let's put that in there. Let's just lose this formatting. Reset. And we'll just make sure that that's green so we know what we use, what we haven't used. So we've used two and we haven't changed them. Yeah. Very good. Now, self-love teen girls could potentially work. Every woman, yeah. So we could use the, we could bring teens into it. But again, that it's quite low cash. So let's see if we can go down to a higher cash amount. And we're going into this kind of realm here. So self-esteem, we've already talked. Self-care workbook for women. Self-love. So we didn't, we haven't sort of talked about self-love yet. So let's just go self-love work, self-love books for women, right? So again, this is one of those examples that I want to, um, so if we copy this and put that in there, and all we're gonna do is just remove the books. You see, self-love for women. So we've unchanged those great keywords other than taking out the items which they have said. Um, one thing that, they, that, that I would say as well is variants of spelling and capitalization and pluralization you don't need. So here, self-esteem workbook adults, you could just have it as adult. It's pointless putting that S in, okay? Right, so we have got self-esteem journal for women, the perfect self-care workbook for the needs of every woman, and then we've got the three unchanged great keywords. Now we've got two where we start to have a bit of fun with it. So we're going to do the keyword blend. So what we're gonna do is we are going to just Grab this, we're going to filter it, and we're gonna just have the yellows. There we go, because we know that the yellows are the ones that we haven't used so far. So, the boys 
it's not really for boys, is it? So let's just get rid of this. These two. Now, it could be a bullet journal, but we don't know. It could be a bullet journal. We could use that, potentially. So let's just um, insert a, above a row, and let's just make that white. So we could use self-esteem bullet journal therapy workbook, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this row, and we're going to pull it up like that. Now we've got a space under here, haven't we? So it shares the word self-esteem. So if we just type in self-esteem, then we put in a bullet journal, bullet journal, then therapy workbook. Obviously, you spell therapy correctly. <laughs> because if we go down here, you do not want spelling errors in your keywords, right? So, self-esteem bullet journal. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that that particular keyword that we've created with the keyword blend um, has got 50 characters or less. Now, the reason why we blended it is because, look, we can go self-esteem bullet journal, but we can also go self-esteem therapy workbook. So we get the benefit of both of those keywords in the one slot. Clever, isn't it? So let's just copy that. And if we go to wordcounter.com, it's actually wordcounter.net. We'll just paste that into there and we can see that that's got 43 characters. So we are okay with that. So all we'll do is we'll take this and that is our first word in our keyword blend, okay? So we've used those two words there. So self-esteem. Now we've got one self-love there for teenage, um, for teenage girls, which might be a different demographic, okay? Self-care rituals. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Self-care rituals. So let's just insert there and insert there. Self-care rituals for women. So we've got self-care for women. So let's just take this, bring it up to here. So now I've got self-care rituals for women, self-care women. Okay. Now self-care books now we, we want to stay away from books self-care coloring book now it's not a coloring book is it self-care workbook for women so if i just grab this and now i've got three great keywords there insert that there now you can see here we've got self-care rituals for women for women for women so all we need to blend those is self care rituals for women yeah, and the only difference then would be the word workbook, wouldn't it? You see, so let me just uh, reset that there. And as you can see there, self-care rituals for women, self-care for women, self-care workbook for women. And that particular keyword, um, it looks like it's uh, less than 50 characters, 36. So that actually works really well. So let's just copy that. And there is our second keyword blend, okay? Now, the last one is the category keywords. Now, the way that you do this is really sort of simple. So you go to your category keywords, which we have uh, pulled out here, and we simply, the way I do it, is select single words that are really relevant to that particular category that you are wanting to stay in. So happiness is obviously that we want happiness, don't we, okay? Mental health. Okay, that's two words, but I think it kind of goes together, doesn't it? So, mental health, okay? So, we've picked two there. Now, this one, journal writing. So, journaling, that's obviously one that's really relevant to that category. Self-reflection, healing, potentially. Personal growth, personal transformation. Let's go with healing on that particular one. Self-esteem, so obviously self-esteem will want that in there. We've actually covered self-esteem quite a lot, haven't we, in here. So maybe let's just stay away from that. So let's go to self-help. We'll have a go with that one. We'll have a go of confidence. Um, uh, empower motivation. That would be a good one. Um, joy. It's fairly close to happiness. And let's just go for mild mindfulness. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to create um, two keywords with these words and hopefully make each one less than 50. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go um, happiness, then we're going to go uh, mental health, copy that, oops, there we go, mental health, and then we'll stick for the joy of it, stick joy in there. And then we'll just maybe put journaling in there as well for now. And as you can see, there's not much uh, sort of reason to this. We're just kind of keyword stuffing the um, particular uh, keywords that are relevant to that category. So let's just check to make sure that that is less than 50. 38, that's not too bad. So could we fit another one in? Let's, let's fit healing into that. Let's see if that's less than 50. 46, perfect. So let's copy that. And that will make our first category keywords um, back end slot. There we go. So then we do the next one. So back onto here. Now we've used this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we'll start with mindfulness this time. That will go here self-help now what you want to do is remove that hyphen self-help confidence there we go and lastly motivation motivation i've got the motivation so we're going to copy that go to word counter let's just see how that is 43 characters look at that boom so we go to keyword setting, click that on there, and now what have we got? We have got our back end keywords. Let's make sure that it's all the right size and it's all the same. There we go. So can you see what I have done there? I have created a title, which is the best keyword that we can find. Very good. We have a subtitle, which is a great keyword, but mixed in with what it is. Okay, so the perfect self-care workbook for the needs of every woman. And what I would do here is, or what I would say is that the perfect self-care workbook for the needs of every woman. That doesn't work, does it? So what we need to do is we need to change that to woman, don't we? There we go. That works. <laughs> right, so... Uh, seven backend keyword slots. So there's our uh, backend keywords. We've got the first three, which are unchanged great keywords. Then we've got two keyword blends, which I showed you how to do that. And then the category keywords, which we identified when we selected the categories. That's the best way to do your keywords in 2025. Now, Publisher Rocket is a paid program. It is $199. But if you want data-driven keyword research, this is the best tool for doing that. And you can use this method and it gives you fantastic results every time. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And until next time, bye.